Watch your own back. Came in alone, going out alone, black. Nah, stick to Christ. Still watch your back. Hello. Okay, so, um, first, stick to my God, Christ Jesus, uh, my love, true love of my life. Um, and, uh, yeah, so in this video, we're going to tackle uh, this following derivative. And it is, um, so let's call it the fun derivative. Ah, shoot. Sorry, my marker stopped. Fun derivative. I didn't know my marker wasn't so good. It's alright, it's alright, we'll survive. Okay. And it is the derivative of d d x of um, 1 plus, oh, sorry guys, 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. Alright? Let me double check. Yeah, okay. So how do we do this? Well, um, this is this is y, right? So this here is y. Y because well it's a function and usually functions are called y. Okay. And so we take the natural log. So let me create space. So y equals and so we take the natural log of both sides. Right here and right here. Right? Okay. And I think Justin asked what I like more, derivatives or integrals. Integrals, for sure, they're more challenging. Derivatives are like, once you know chain rule, it's like, as I told him, it's a rolling stone. It's a little bit boring almost. Okay, so uh, the whole purpose of taking the natural log is like, we have a variable to a variable and we know that that variable will be right here, right? Okay, so it breaks down the variable, right? Okay, okay, okay. So now we take the derivative implicitly here we gotta keep product rule in mind. Uh, and so we get one over y, and then uh, uh, chain rule dy dx, right? Equals product rule here. The product is between x and the function natural log of one plus one over x. So the derivative of the first function x is one, and so we keep the second ln of one plus one over x, and then plus the uh, first, which is x, and then the derivative of the natural log of uh, 1 plus 1 over x, right? So for starters, that's going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over x, and then by chain rule, we need to multiply by the derivative of 1 plus 1 over x, the inside function, right? Uh, well, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of 1 over x, you know, you should know how to do it. It's pretty easy. 1 over x would be like x to the negative 1, right? So its derivative is negative uh, 1 x to the negative 2. If you simplify that, that's negative 1 over x squared. So most people like me who teach math have just committed this to memory. So I did that for you. Huh, 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 huh? You're welcome. So um, times we go uh, negative 1 over x squared. All right. Now it's a little confusing. Who's downstairs? Who's upstairs? Blah, 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 right? Okay, okay. I know this, like, this is over 1. So this x here and that x squared can turn into just a simple x right there. So um, there's that much. And uh, otherwise, you know, I suppose we can clean this up a little bit. 1 over y dy dx, right? It's equal to, well, then what do we have? The natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. It doesn't simplify tremendously, right? And we take that minus sign, we could stick it right here. And then we've got that x right, right? So we could go 1 over x. Uh, so that's that x right there. That survived. And then times, what is this going to be? It's 1 over, it's uh, really x plus 1 over x, right? But that's x over um, x plus 1. So it does simplify a little bit nicer. x over um, x plus 1, right? Okay, got it. So we go boom, boom. All right. And so the survivor here is a 1, right? And so we move over over here, and we go, all right, so we've got 1 over y dy dx is equal to axiomat dx, axiomat. <laughs> no, that's nutty, professor. Like, so that's the, I've already explained in the previous, in the last video where I appeared on camera, like standing, right? I'm still standing, I'm still strong. No, <laughs> I explained. <laughs> 
<laughs> I explained that the reason why I haven't been on camera is because like I was getting a little bit of belly fat like with you know COVID and no exercise blah 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 right and um I don't like that I don't like I don't play like <laughs> so like you know because if, if I'm gonna post it I want it to stay and like I don't want to be like remember when I was um okay um all right <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we get natural log of um, 1 plus 1 over x, and then it's going to say um, minus 1 over, and then it's x plus 1, right? Got it. The only thing left to do is to put this in a giant uh, parenthesis and multiply both sides by y so as to get rid of that. But wait, why? Why is uh, y was... It's not is, it's gone now, but why was, um, why was I, um, like, uh, right there, okay, why was I trying to, uh, never mind, okay, I'm being really random right now, okay, so 1 plus 1 over x, it's okay, oh, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, um, okay, so that's it, that's my final answer is simplified as you want. Ha ha ha. Drop the marker. No, no, no. I'm already cool. Like, Jesus makes me feel that way. I don't need to drop none. Okay, peace. <laughs>